So Bruce just went into the store, get some fresh fruit, and now we're going to continue our walk. So this is the shopping center where we just were. Yeah, so we went and did a little bit of uh, vitamin shopping. Yeah. Different kind of fruit. It's really good. <laughs> Fresh fruit. Including cactus fruit. <laughs> Safe. Safe. It's safe. We it's had... a lot more crowded than last week. Yeah, it is. I think a lot more people came back from the holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That could be it. That's actually yeah. good. Good explanation. Okay, so we're now leaving the water side. Going a bit more further. Yeah, actually, we're going back home now. We made a U-turn and we uh, are walking back yeah, home. Yeah, but still, it's a nice way to film it, maybe. Absolutely. It goes, um, it's it's really a long way before we're home, so it's nice to film it, maybe. A lot of healthy people. A lot. A lot, yeah. They're also healthy. I think they're very motivated yeah. to be running after summer. I mean, you want to get your summer body, but not your winter body. <laughs> Who cares when the summer is over? This will actually be the first vlog where we'll be using the gimbal for uh, the entire um, part. Yeah. Yeah, true. Well, we tried to do some... Uh, shoot from the hip vlog but we have no hips anymore but we don't have we don't have hips so how many kilos did you lose i lost now 15 kilos okay so i'm lost a little over 20. mike is broke a record he lost 20 kilos more than 20 kilos in almost a year and of course we hardly go outside, uh, except for doctor's visits or um, yeah, yeah, visits Sunday to morning. the vet, visits to the vet, and, uh, and the Sunday morning walks. That's it. So what we mainly have done is just changed drastically the diet. So we ate less. We ate less. That's what it comes so down to. Yeah, we're hungry. We're hungry all the time. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's a good indication if you want to know if you're losing weight or not. If you you never feel hunger, if your stomach always is full, then you know that you're not doing a good job. You need to feel hunger all the time. Which actually makes sense because that means that you're giving your body enough food to digest it and process it. Otherwise, your body is still processing the food you had and you're still gonna give it more. That's really cute. Those two tables, no, three tables on top of each other, stacked up like that. Yeah, I will show it in a minute. It's art with a capital A. Oh, I like it, it's cute. And what's even more amazing is that on the top table, yeah, there are these beehives yeah you said so the last time we were here but i didn't see it well but now look i'm at seeing it now yeah yeah so we have three of these um i don't hives. know no no i think no they have five in total let's see if i can show it to you i don't know if the green boxes do count as beehives Otherwise, it's four. Those brown wooden boxes. There they are. It's a very, very sweet, bee friendly something to do in the middle of the city to give them something to come home to. 
in between traffic and all that. Because no, now it, it's not really the center of attention, but bees are suffering a lot. And the bee population globally is dying out. Yeah. So here you can see the train tracks again. So that way is Central Station, where we just came from. Are we going across over now there? Now we're going or? to... Uh, Push the button. Somebody else did. There we go. I always need to push the button. Not knowing how many people already touched it. Yeah. The next street that we will uh, we will be getting into is really one of the cutest streets in the city center. And there are actually a lot of, of these kind of streets. It's not the only one. But this one also. I hope it will come off on the screen like we're experiencing it. Such a nice street, so cozy, so nice. And actually, this next street um, is being restored or, or was restored over the past few years. It's just one of these streets that makes you happy when you walk through it. This building I see whenever I come home from work and the train pulls in. It's so funny to be walking down the street next to it. I've always seen it from the railroad, from the train window. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like this. And at the end of the day, people, people are always sitting down here on this terrace.
Yeah, I'm we already should... getting a low battery warning from your really? phone. Really? Yeah. Let's go back to the other side. Yeah. I think there's a little bit more to see. I think shops and there is that um, vintage interior shop. Vintage. Oh, How do you yeah. say that? That's true. Vintage furniture, that's the word I'm looking for. Vintage furniture shop that we saw the last time we were here. They have such great stuff. Well, let's just keep filming and if it dies out, it dies out. No. Yeah. We've seen some furniture here. Like that one, that I orange. Love that chair. Yeah, that chair is so cute. That one is so good. So nice to see. Just makes you happy. We have a lot of stuff. And this shop is called Vintage Designs. Stuff and stories. But it's a lot of reflection. Yeah, a lot of glare. But guys, don't go buy that one because that one is reserved for us. I think so too. I love this table as well. This table is... Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Funny thing. They also rent workplace like a desk. If you're um, a freelancer and you don't need a whole building for yourself, you just need a desk, you can actually rent a desk inside that shop. How about that? How about them apples? How about them apples? So many cozy shops that we're walking by, like this violin shop. So cute. Yeah, it's cute. Yep. I see they also make cellos, violins and cellos. cute lights they have these strings of lights that go all the way through the whole street a lot of cute cozy stores on the other side also so I, I think this is what I like the most about this street all those cozy little different shops oh, I'm smelling all kind of Pastries. But there's also another thing. When you eat less, your sense of smell becomes so on point. On point. I think it's just a way of a body trying to survive. <laughs> trying to point, point you in directions of food. Yeah, really nice street. There is more going on that we can capture, that's for sure. Look at this tree, it's so cute. It's just little things. Yeah, it's nice. How is the battery? It's flashing red. Okay. So how uh, how 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 much? How now, bro? How long have we 
been recording for? I don't know. About an hour and a half, maybe. Yeah, okay. Oh well. Oh well. How empty was your battery? You it wasn't put it was on. fully charged. Okay, let's turn it off for a bit. Okay, so we switched phones. <laughs> My phone is uh, still fully juiced up. This is one of the old windmills that are still in the city. Um, and we just came from that street over there. You can see it. And we're now going to continue our walk. Nothing more than a windmill that says you're in Holland. Yeah, true. Oh. Too late. It's okay. Nothing's coming. No. Kilometer five. Kilometer five. So we're about to go into another cozy street. We're going to be seeing a little bit of botanical garden and the zoo. Wow, it's this hot that I see women in a fur coat. Yeah. Wow. Tired? A bit tired, I can take it. No. I just love these stretched out streets. Yeah, this is an old navy. <laughs> no, not navy base. How would you call it in English? Uh, Military. Yeah, well, more like a, an office that belongs to the military. Uh, but people used to be stationed here. But they don't have living quarters for the soldiers, I mean, it's no, mostly not offices. Not anymore. So it's part of the military thing. Used to be. Used to be, yeah. Uh, now it's a travel agency to Africa. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot of different things. And um, some sort of a designer office I see here. Yeah. D Well, well, well. I'm closing all my rings. Mike is closing all his rings. <laughs> Getting in his steps for today. So that is the botanical garden. You can already see a little bit of a, a little corner of it. It's artist. Yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, then I must be confused. I think you are. That's probably what it is. That is aren't this? Yeah. It's the edge of the oh, huh? zoological garden. Then it's a different street that I'm confusing this with. Where you first see a corner of the botanical garden before you see Arctis. We're much farther from home uh, than yeah. you think. I'm really bad in navigating. You don't say. I'm <laughs> like the Dora, the Dory. No, not Dora. Dora is actually very good. I'm Dory. No direction feeling. Artis is really gorgeous. Artis is nice. It's worth your visit if you come to Amsterdam and you know you love visiting zoo. Yeah. It's that was the police traveling on bikes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see them with their big smile? You don't have to be a sourpuss as a police officer. Here you see the buildings from the from the zoo, from behind. And actually, in front of it is a canal, so you can take your boat and. Uh... So whenever we're in uh, Disney World Animal Kingdom, there is this part that looks like these houses. It's the same style. It always reminds me of Amsterdam uh, Zoo. And me and Mike always joke that we're going to buy it. And you yeah. see this at our apartment. Someday, somehow. So these, these are the bags. Of the buildings. Yeah. That's nice. It's really nice. Love it. Look at that kid doing tricks on his bike. Oh, yeah. Nice. Take a breath, Mint. Yeah. <laughs> Pop one in, will you? And give you one, two while I'm at it. Yeah. One or two? One. Did you know, guys, sometimes you use these candies that have only about one calorie as a way of... Like a Tic Tac. Distracting our tummy from hunger. <laughs> really, you can do that, guys. <laughs> So you can still uh, make the chew movement. Yeah, and distract your tummy from feeling hunger. Nice sitting area here. Yeah, but there's, there's no benches. No, but I think it's you're supposed to bring your own blanket or something. And well, then put it on there. Here. Yeah. It's like a booth. You want to see it? You can see it, but then again, the view is blocked. But it's nice. You feel like you're in nature. Just not feeling it today. Some other time. We're gonna come back, have some fruit. Well, we do have fruit, but it needs to be washed. But Fruit salad. Yeah, make a little bit of fruit salad. Fruit salad. Yeah, we've actually made fruit salads every summer. Hey, you see a boat? Yeah, rowboat. Here's one of the old gates. 
to the city. Oh yeah. Did you guys see that ship in the water? Usually what you do on a city gate is you portray the thing that represents the city the most. So Amsterdam was of course uh, uh, they were of course masters of the sea. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's nice. Oh yeah, this is also a nice view over the water. That willow tree always reminds me of the Little Mermaid scene. You guys know. <laughs> it does, huh? Yeah, it does. I embarrassed my grandma Willow. Oh yeah, then you have Willow in Pocahontas. So now we've reached the zoo. Yeah. And they're still doing some work here. It's like... It's like they've been working on this for the last 15 years. It's beautiful. This Greco-Roman style backside of the zoo is really beautiful. But they need uh, money to restore it, renovate it. So uh, not restore it because it's not damaged, thank God. Just renovate it, clean it. Uh, and this is the old aquarium building, which is uh, one of the oldest buildings on the property. Uh, because actually the zoo has a lot of old buildings uh, that were incorporated into the zoo when they bought the land. Let's wait for this tram. So yeah, they are now refurbishing a lot of those buildings because it's really needed, but there's no money. Not a tram. And of course the zoo closed for almost two years during the pandemic, so... Yeah, we can they're sponsor, a, yeah, they're we can sponsoring it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, most of the people that had an annual pass just kept their animal pass like we did and now they're in full uh, operation again thank god for them let's go to the other side of the street so we can film in the facade yeah our uh, vet we have one of the their office is here so it's always a joy to come here and just enjoy this facade that Mike is going to be sharing with you. There's even some color all the way up there. Yeah. I don't know what you will be able to film it from behind the trees. Maybe we can show you the color. Yeah, beautiful. It's almost like Greek temple. Let's see if I can zoom in a little. Yeah, it's beautiful. 
It's really nice, and it's a shame you have to see with the scaffolding up. But then again, that's a good thing. It means they're taking good care of it. It was built in 18, 1800 something, right, Mike? I keep forgetting the year. Oh yeah, there it is. It's 1881. So it's built in 1881. That's really cool. And again, it's really worth your visit. Yeah, the aquarium is very, very nice. And they have these little places where you can get like a small lunch and snacks. And First he barks loud and then when you look at him he stops. He stops and he just does these little short barks. <laughs> they need to show on the street. Now we're standing here anyway. The middle of the street, look at that. I just love it. Love it when you have this clear view of A Street. Love it. Yeah, and this is kind of historic street, so which you'll see later on. Yeah, I really love artists. Love it. So this is the actual park. And if you come in earlier, then most of the time you'll hear all those birds calling. Yeah. Sounds really exotic. I can't wait to be able to come back here, get out, renew our annual pass and visit almost every Sunday. We used to come here almost every Sunday. It's nice. So coming up is the house of what the CEO is that how we call it? Yeah. The boss of the zoo. He's a really kind guy. Looks seems like a very compassionate guy. Just the right guy to have working with animals. So he's waking up every morning hearing the elephants. Yeah, and that's the what he said. <laughs> hearing wake up by the elephant call. And the monkeys, yeah. Look at that door. It's so yeah. cute. It's great. Mmm, huh? you're smelling coffee. I think that was the crew. Or were it was it no, visitors? So. No. Yes, okay. Beautiful these old style houses with these big window panels. Shutters. Huh? Storm shutters. Yeah, like it. So all this, all this that you've been looking at is all part of the facade of the zoo. Yeah, so the right hand side. And the walls are decorated with all kind of art. Really 50s. Yeah, but it's so hard to get on this painting because we're walking right under it. Yeah. But they're depicting animals like the swans, a rooster, chicken, fish, bugs, all kind of stuff, all kind of animals and bugs. 
and you see some names up there, and I think those are the names of the patriarchs. Not really sure. Yeah. Or zoologists. Zoologists. Capricorn. Wolves. Zebra. Yeah, nice. Beautiful art. I don't know if they're out, but I've seen their animals. And I hope they are. I've never knew of before. Never knew of their existence before. They look like big hamsters. Yeah. They're, they're, they have a really nice camouflage. They almost look like rocks. I don't see them. Can you see one by the, the bird? There's a bird in front of it. Oh, it's standing up right now. It's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. let me zoom in. It's like a beaver. It's like, it's like... Nice beaver. A crossover, a, a, a nice beaver. Between a beaver and a, an otter. But it doesn't have a tail. I mean, at all. Although it lives in the water, you'd expect it to have a tail, you know, to, to help it move. Like fish, but no. Looks like Miko. Yeah. Looks like this though. It has such an interesting head. I don't know what to compare it to. Maybe a little pony? Kilometer six. The flamingos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's stop for a moment. Yeah. Some of the fruits that we got today, the cactus fruit, I love it. As a kid, I always used to uh, go and pluck these with my grandma. Always. So good. Here we go. So, 
All right, let's do this. We sat for five minutes. It's getting really crowded around us, you guys. Yeah. You can really notice that everybody's come back from holiday. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're gonna go on our way home. And this is so nice because this is this is free. Uh, this has free access, so this is a, a little restaurant, and then over there is the actual entrance to the zoo. So it's yeah, well, it has really nice three area. Entrances. One of the three. I love these fig trees. So we just got out some figs also. Hmm, figs. From the vegetable and the fruit shop. Somebody likes figs. So why did you get figs when you could get them from free for free from these trees? Well, because these figs are not ripe. Uh -huh. Plus not everything tree is a big tree. There, we just no. passed. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Mm. Yes, it's green. A frog. So it's completely stripped right now. But this is the Hollandse Schouwburg. This is the place where they riled up all the Jews during the Second World War and put them on transport. So this is a pretty historic and sad place. It's being renovated. It's just the facade that's still standing. The rest of the building is, uh, is gone. It used to be a theater. And in the, um, what used to be the, the theater itself, which is now so, some sort of memorial garden area, there are plaques of all people that uh, left Amsterdam. Coming up, I think, is the Holocaust Museum. No. No? Or the Jewish Museum? Yeah, that's something about mm, it. No. Resistance Museum? No. I remember something like that in this street. No, that's the opposite way. Coming up is the Hortus Botanicus, which is one of the oldest uh, horticultural gardens in the world. And where they first brought home a coffee plant. 
and there is also this lotus flower that blooms only one night a year. We should attend that sometime in the future. It's only for members. Well, yeah, we used to be members. We used to be. Well, we don't go, of course, is the whole COVID thing, but we'll be back. This is a nice movie theater. It's one of the old, old so cute. theaters. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. The students are starting their school year. reason it looks better in real no I mean that canopy structure is put together another beautiful building such a beautiful building and yeah, this is part of the uh, horticultural gardens we have the cutest gift shop yeah. That you exit through. With the plants. Yeah, it's so cute. All these little... Oh, they're selling plants outside. Huh. Let's go see. Plants. Maybe we can buy something. For, um, for our little balcony. It's all organic. I see lavender. I see what? Mint. I see mint. I see thyme. Mm, that's cool. Yeah, it's cute. that it's organic I think this is from their own park yeah I think so too yeah how cute is that their own greenhouses yeah that gives it a little bit uh, extra This is also the street of the Portuguese synagogue here in Amsterdam. Yeah, which is on the other side of the street that we're walking on now. I see security. Security.
Yeah, that's very important. The history of the Jewish Portuguese Portuguese Jewish synagogue. Holland was one of the countries where Jews could be themselves. And it's also something that the Dutch people brought over when they went to uh, what's now called New York, United States. The tolerance. Yeah, so that's the building over there. beautiful temple we've been inside it's open for public watch the vlog yeah you guys should watch the vlog link the vlog yeah I will sick plug sick plug and then adjacent to it you have the Moses and Aaron church another beautiful Catholic church where I actually did voluntary work for an international project that's called Compassionate City, you know, to bring compassion back in society globally. And look how that turned out. Look how that turned. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> yeah. And that's putting it mildly. <laughs> I know. and compassion. So we're now going into that street, guys, as it's really busy and crowded. Just gonna continue and then maybe finish the vlog at that um, Maritime Museum. Yeah. It's gonna be a very beautiful sight and a fitting way to finish this vlog. furniture store where you can buy let's just put it this way some interesting designs very interesting Mediterranean, Arabian style. Well, not all of the furnishes they have, but some. I think they have a sale, but I'm not sure. Yeah? No. That's so cute. That stuff is so cute. 
but you can never stretch in it. Look at the radiator. Yeah, it's cute. It's also cute. I just love the bathtub. Maybe we should put it in our living room. No, on the balcony. Oh, nice. I like that overhead thing. Yeah. Tables. So they have stores all over the world, like literally. They even have stores in Saudi Arabia. How about that? How no, about them apples? How about them apples? Jeddah. Look. Bogota, even in Colombia, Lebanon, China, Spain. Belgium, Egypt, wow, they're all over the place, Turkey, UK, US, you get it, you're big, <laughs> yeah, they're big, you get it, you're big, they're really big, Russia, wow, Canada, I love these lights, yeah, those are, are really great, I think, yeah, they're really Look, and the large one is only 3,840 euros, so... Yeah, and if, if you put one of these, those uh, Philips Hue lights in, you can actually create, like, air balloons with different colors. Ah, clever! Yeah. Or, if you want to go artistic, you can buy one of these projectors, like Disney does on their castles, and project something on those lights. Wow! Yeah, all right. Responsibilities right. are endless. They're even bigger than I thought. Yeah, Italy. Even in Korea, Mike. Wow. Cotton balls. Cotton balls. But I do like the lights again. Yeah, lights are nice. Yeah, this, so is, this uh, is when you want to recreate the 60s. The Bedouin. Oh, the Bedouin. This is the Bedouin style, which is also the 60s, the hippies. They were so into the bed with the Arabian style. In fact, in Saudi Arabia and Dubai and all that, even they're very rich, they still prefer to sit on the floor like that. Because it's supposed to be healthier. 
just closer to the, the ground, literally. Coming up is um, a firefighter station. I think it's still in use, right? Yeah. Yeah. Across the street here? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Maybe it's easier to cross over here than at the other point. Let's just do it here. Yeah, this is the building. Impressive. Burning tires. I had an aunt who used to get so annoyed by people that would do that on their motorcycle. And she would say, just to herself because she was annoyed, she needed to get it out of her system. She'd say, that guy, where he thinks he is? He's just burning rubber. He's just shortening the lifespan of his uh, tires. That's why it's so crowded. Yeah, so it's the, the new theater season. The new theater season has started. So if you guys come to Amsterdam end of August, you get the experience for free, the new season of uh, the theater where you can actually preview a lot of the, the upcoming shows in very high quality. It's not like rehearsal quality or just like as you would see in the theater.
All right, I think we can stop here. On the bridge. On the bridge. So over there, you can see the arches of the central station again. So we made a full loop. Yeah, so that's where we started. I think I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. I enjoyed it too. And if you get the chance, come see Amsterdam. <laughs> now you can do this for yourself, maybe. Okay, guys, take care. All right, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Finally. This bike, finally, our building is being taken care of, is getting some TLC. Oh my God, it's been a long debate between the tennis. It's a cold day, Mike. Yeah, it's cool. Breezy, breezy day. Look at that tree dancing. Dancing tree. Dancing tree, not dancing queen. It is such a weird feeling, a weird vibe to be sitting in the dark while outside is still daylight. <laughs> and me and Mike were just saying to each other how crazy it is that it's this dark. I don't know what, that, what I was expecting, but yeah, it's funny. Oh, well, what can you do? You make it as cozy as possible and then you wait for it you know, to, um, to be all uh, over. Miku doesn't get it. He just doesn't get it. He was sitting in my lap and then he decided, no, he wants to look out the window the way he does it every time in that order. And he was just sniffing. He's he was, hearing things. Yeah, he's hearing things, but it must be a very weird sensation to him to hear but not to be able to see that that's there used to be a window just transparent glass dame so he doesn't understand look at that he probably thinks um, what have you done you idiot yeah don't you know that it's not supposed to be like this he feels like he needs to explain to us that this is supposed to be a window <laughs> Miko I'm sorry oh, that's really sad that's so sad. Look at that. He hears things, but... <laughs> this must feel so unnatural, Dave. <laughs> uh... 
Well, he was very uh, excited yeah. the entire morning that, uh, that the guys were working on this. Yeah, he slept, slept the whole day. It's now almost the end of the day, and they were here at literally the beginning of the day. It's so funny because while he jumped to be there, like he always does, he, he still wasn't realizing that it's of no use until he actually sniffed that, that wood. He's going to try the other window. <laughs>